Hello and welcome back. Today we have another £200 worth of 10 Ps. Looking for the alphabet 10 Ps. Ideally, the one we're still missing for in ooh, that's 2019, 2018's book. We are just missing the letter G. That would be an awesome, awesome coin to tick off completing our first ever 10 P alphabet series. Uh, <laughs> we've been going at this for a very, very long time. It's overdue. Very, very much overdue. 2019, however, we need a whole lunch, a whole lunch more, a whole lot more. We need that. We've only got that to C E G, H J K L M, O R U and V. So plenty still to get for this book. But without further ado, let's get into these bags. So before we get into some questions, then my all I want for Christmas is Q jumpers are available on Teespring's. Read the same design from last year, but on a different different colours this year. Equally, my Christmas HQ jumpers, uh, the brand new Christmas jumpers for this year, available over on Teespring's now. So go and check them out if you so wish. Uh, we're going to jump into some questions. We're still working through the last of the questions on my um, 40k subscriber giveaway, the RAF Silver Proofs. So um, um, we are we must be getting close to it. I'm seeing some familiar names that get in there early with uh, with their comments. So I think we're going to be finishing this up pretty soon. Um, Will Snell says, Congratulations, Christopher, on reaching your 40k subscribers. Fantastic giveaway, and you will make some lucky people very happy. To be fair, that's what, part of what I enjoy about doing the giveaways. Um, it's my way of saying thank you to... Although I can't thank everyone, even if I gave a pound to every subscriber that I have, um, that would end up bankrupting me. <laughs> but um, it's nice to give everyone a chance to uh, winning something. Um, and I know lots of the other coin tubes do giveaways as well, so it's um, a great way. For, it is it's free to enter. There's no cost to enter, the, enter these giveaways, so um, why not? Why not? If you were offered a free lottery ticket, you'd take it, wouldn't you? Why not? Um, but yeah, it's uh, because um, people have come to me saying the, the, the positive impact that I've had in their lives. But um, it's it's also important to recognise and and say that the, the positive impact that you guys have in my world, um, the, the lovely comments, the messages I get on social media, um, people make videos talking about my videos or mentioning me in their videos, it's, it's, it's heartwarming and it's, um, it's, um, it, it's lovely. So I, I am very, very grateful and thankful uh, to all of you and uh, the giveaways are my way of giving back and thank you well not so much giving back i guess it is but yeah anyway uh, thank uh, thanking a couple of a couple of people a couple of uh, uh, every now and again about for subscribing and supporting my channel uh, anyway enough prattling or hokiness like that um oh we got one the letter t if this is 2018 i might just scream <laughs> So that's what we were stuck on in addition to G for so long. But there we go. Now we found three of them. Great. Toheed says, Woohoo, another giveaway. Good luck to everyone. Christopher, what was your inspiration for start to start collecting coins? I really love the videos. Well, thank you very much. Um, there wasn't really an inspiration, so to speak. I've always been a bit of a collector, a hoarder, an organiser of things. So, um, and I've collected coins on and off since I was a kid. So um, I started collecting uh, again in 2017-ish. Um, and what spurred me on to make videos is that I was seeing on YouTube a whole bunch of US coin collectors. Um, and it was, it was great fun and the stuff they could find and blah, blah, blah. Um, and then I sort of made me think, I wonder if anyone's doing this in the UK. And you had Absolute Coins, UK Coin Hunt, and UK Coin Hunter that were doing it at the time. But there weren't really a lot. There weren't really anyone else doing a sort of regular sort of coin hunt videos. So I thought, you know what? Let's have a go at this. This looks. I'm, I'm hunting through the coins anyway. Uh, why not make some videos? And here we are, almost three years later, um, still going at it. And <laughs> we'll keep doing it until we get it right. Um, but yeah, there wasn't anything, I think my dad collects coins, but he collects the annual sets rather than hunting coins from his change. So, um, yeah, I don't, possibly my dad, he's, he's a bit of a hoarder himself. So there we go. Um, da -da 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 -da. James Mitchell says, what impressive prizes your channel is plenty enough without giveaways like this. Keep up the great work. Oh, thank you very much. That's very nice of you to say. Um, da -da 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 -da. Blue Blue says, I've been dreaming about those coins. Amazing. Zesty Draws says, oh dear, what a name. Um, uh, hi, Christopher. I'm a very busy person, but I tried my best to join your streams whenever I can. I started collecting coins a while ago. I don't really have a chance to sit down and look through loads of money, so I get my hands on whatever I can. My question is, what's your least favourite coin shape? 50p, £2, £1. Um, hmm least favorite coin shape 
Ooh, um, I don't know. There is, I don't really have anything. There isn't anything really particularly wrong about either of those three denominations. Uh, the coin that I have a problem with is the five P coins because they are so small and fiddly that I have absolutely no plans to hunt through five pence coins at any point. Um, never say never because that's what I used to say about pennies, and now I hunt through pennies for the world record attempt. But. Um, I don't know, I have no plans as of now to hunt through five pences and my sympathies to go out to anyone who has attempted to do so because that must be so frustrating. Um, they are far too small and fiddly and would drive me round the twist. Um, but in terms of the shapes of a 50p, two pound or one pound, I guess I would go with the two pound because it's just a circle. So it's not as interesting as a 50p or one pound, which is no slight on the two pound coin because I love hunting through two pound coins. So there we go, best that I can give you on that, I'm afraid. Um, Saz says my grandpa was in the RAF. I would adore one of those. Also, who is your favourite comedian? Um, ooh, good question. Uh, I quite like most comedians. I'm not too fussy when it comes down to comedians. Um, probably my favourite comedian would be Dylan Moran. Um, I've seen him live two or three times now, and he is so funny. He's, it's it's um it's the bizarreness of his comedy that I really like it's he's such a such a strange strange person and those of you that's in black books will know what I mean or if that's in him doing his comedy it's so it's, it seems like what I like about Ross Noble it's just a very bizarre comedy but top of my list comedians I would love to see live is um, Rod Gilbert a comedian I've loved for absolutely ages and I've just never got around to seeing him uh, perform live so that would be top of my list of comedians that I want to see um, but the, uh, the, the other one is Peter Kay I love Peter Kay but he only does sort of seems to do stadium comedy and I've been to comedy gigs at a big stadium before and it's not the same feel as a smaller sort of audience so um, yeah not a massive fan of that um, Angry Brit says my favourite is the RAF badge reminds me of the wooden one my grandfather had on the wall growing up as a kid uh, visiting great memories oh that's awesome the, the crest for the RAF that's, that's very cool um, da, 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 these are just people saying thank you for doing the giveaway oh here we go uh, Andrew W says well done on 40k subscribers the channel has really blown up over the last few months well done I have two questions what is the camera you use to film the videos so I use my Canon EOS but not EOS Coins to collectors correct me on that Canon EOS 80D um, I'm not very techy I don't know my tech uh, I asked my brother because he's all into all of those cameras what the best kind of camera I could get for doing what I'm doing and he recommended that and that's one that I got um, the webcams I use are just Logi, Logitech I think uh, 1080 these um, and that's one of the ones I used to use for the live streams and that I use for the face camera videos on some of my other videos um, uh, so yeah that's what I use um, and he also says what's your favorite cheese um, hmm, good question um, again I'm not too fussy with cheese I don't like cheese that's too gooey though um, and I have had, I, I quite like cheese with a little bit of spiciness to it but I have had cheese that have blown my brains out literally like you eat it with a cracker and chewing it going holy Toledo this is like I can hear my heartbeat um, clearing out my sinuses uh, with this cheese so yeah I'm not a massive fan of things that are too spicy but a little bit of a hint of a spice it's quite nice actually I had um, um, cheese with onion in it and uh, like caramelized onion oh it was divine um, anyway we're not here to wear cheese Although I'm thinking about having some cheese now, my mouth is is uh, uh, is watering at the thought of it. Uh oh, 2018! Is it gonna be? Is it gonna be? Is it gonna be? Nope, but it is the little P. Very cool. My first alphabet 10 P was a 2018 P. So a very special coin to me. We found two. Great going. Um, Hell Edge says where. Do you find your love of coins so what is it i like about coin collecting um part of the excitement is the hunt of it so it's the pursuit of coins that are either rare or coins that i like it's not knowing it's almost like that it's almost like um it's the safest gamble basically because i'm getting say i get a 250 pound bag of 50 p's i paid 250 pounds for that bag if i find nothing i can pay it into back into my bank and it's still 250 pounds um but equally i could find a kew gardens in it and that is worth half the price of the bag or getting up to more upwards of half of the price of the bag not that i sell coins i keep them and hoard them because i have issues um i don't profiteer and sell my coins i 
uh, as you've seen in my whole coin collection video last February, I maybe I'll do one again. Um, was it February or May? I can't remember now. But anyway, well, next time I do one, if I do one, because it takes an enormous amount of time to record one of those videos, um, you'll see the amount of them that I've got is just bonkers. Um, but it's yeah, it's it's, um, it's satisfying to find to find them and and um, add them to my collection and log them on New Mister and put them in flips and da -da 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 -da, put them in the boxes and categorize them. So yeah, that's that's part of the fun. But possibly the most exciting thing is new coins. Uh, when new coins are announced, it's the 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 it's like um, I don't know, a wave that goes through. Um, the, the whole little community we've got that I get people messaging me on social media, tagging me on social media, messaging on my Discord server, um, and it's the, the the excitement about antici anticipation of what the design could look like, about what we're gonna like, what we like about it, um, the coins that we maybe some of us don't all agree on, the debate we have around that. Um, but yeah, I think that the, the it's just there's just some absolutely stunning designs, aren't they? And the, the idea that the, the next coin that comes out could be your next favorite coin the next coin that comes out could be better than to me than the frankenstein two pound coin um you never know it could happen so yeah i guess that's what it is it's the this the fun the excitement the not knowing uh patrick woods says uh tea or coffee uh, i am a coffee drinker i don't like tea uh, mine is white no sugar um because i used to drink loads and loads of coffee at work and i just thought all oh, this sugar is bad for me so instead of cutting out the coffee i cut out the sugar <laughs> um also says chinese or indian food Ooh, either either both um uh, that's a tricky one to to, to to split between because i do like chinese but i would probably lean toward, more towards indian uh, but throw thai food in the mix and man oh man uh, i'm going for thai food every day of the week uh, also asks dogs or cats i'm more of a cat person yes i'm one of those people i've got a cat i i like my, i like cats more than dogs because they like their affection but then they'll go off and they'll wander and they'll, 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 have, they'll have an entire day to themselves which um a dog is always sat there always sat there waiting um and that would drive me insane um well we are coming right to the end of these of these um videos now uh gtg clan says how do you go into the bank and ask for 500 pounds worth of coins how do you have the confidence um, well, that's what banks are there for. Banks are there to provide you with cash or coins or whatever. It's uh, or increasingly less coins because um, I know lots of banks, personal personal bank accounts will limit the amount of coins that you can get out, out of your bank account or pay into your bank account. Um, but I've got business accounts, so I can order them online, click the form. To be fair, it's about getting to know the bank staff as well. So I have a chit chat. I know the guys in my bank um, and I'm polite and courteous to them as much as I, as you should be to, um, to people working customer service. I've worked in a bank before and I can, I can, um, um, I can attest to the, 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 the um, customers that you are most kind to are the ones that are friendly, that have a chit chat with you. And it's, um, yeah, they are humans as well. Um, and if you can um, have a bit of a chit chat and, and um, like when I've worked in customer service, that person that has a laugh and a joke with you, that's the person that makes your day and you look forward to seeing that person again and again. Um, but yeah, um, uh, explaining also what it is you're doing because if a bank sees you taking lots of coins out and then paying coins back in and then coins back out and coins back in um then that looks a bit suspicious so uh, making sure that you tell them uh, make them aware of what it is that you're actually doing uh, with those coins um i think that's the last of the questions we've got a couple of nice messages we'll just read through so david scc uk says well done for the subs great giveaways and good luck uh, to everyone uh, Greg Peacock says, congratulations on 40k, been here since near the beginning, keep it up. I know, it's mad, it's mad, isn't it? So I think there are still a couple of um, people that I see pop up in the comments or that I talk to on Discord or Messenger and things like that that have been, uh, been knocking around my channel for the longest of times. Um, and a big thank you to those people because uh, those of you that have stayed the course and st stuck with me over this time because there's a lot of times when people will subscribe and they'll watch for a few months or a few weeks and then they'll drop off they'll drop off and stop watching but um yeah the, the ones that the people that have been watching for the longest period of time or those that are the most interactive uh, in terms of leaving comments and messaging me and things like that um uh they are um very nice people and I, i'm very very appreciative of their time and their support and their kindness um eliza wood says i'm your biggest fan I, I will admit i hate the word fan i hate it with passion um uh you describe yourself as viewers or subscribers or something like that but the idea of having 
fans makes me feel uneasy um, because I am not some great celebrity. Um, that, that's to me what a fan is. I am a Star Wars fan. Um, I am a fan of David Bowie. I'm a fan of Queen. Um, the idea that there are people that would describe themselves as fans of Christopher Collect makes me feel a little bit... Eh. So, um, yes, you, subscribers, viewers, um, fellow coin collectors, um, but not fans. We don't want fans. That, that's um, bizarre. <laughs> um, uh, oh, that's a name. A-O-I-F-E. Oif, Auf, Oyo, Whatever your name is. I apologise profusely for mispronouncing your name. There's no way I'm pronouncing that right. Uh, Scott. Eif, uh, Oif. Scott says, well done on 40k subscribers. Well, thank you very, very much. Um, and then Kyle Ismail uh, just put second. So I must admit, so the, the people that race for first comment, uh, there, I know people, there are some people that get a bit grumpy about it. I go, oh, why are you bothering? I think it's kind of fun. It's, it's, um, there are a couple, there are a couple of names that are always in the top sort of three or four battling it out for, to get the first comment. And it makes me, it makes me chuckle to see that because I check all the comments as they come in and I like, and I, reply to a few of them i used to do to every single comment that came in but um i just don't have the time to do that now um but i, I do read the comments as they come in um or catch up if i got a spare 10 minutes just flick through them um and the, the people that are jumping in and going first or first one here or second or third i think it's kind of cool and i like it i think it's 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 it's, it's a little bit of fun and it's surprising how consistent it is the same regular people that um are doing it but that being said we've got to the end of the list of questions so the next q a we're gonna have to pick up from whatever my next giveaway was i, I can't even recall um and so with that being said let's get back to the coins well there we go uh some really good success we got the G uh, guernsey uh tomatoes the uh, Gibraltar Euro Fort and the Gibraltar Great Siege, uh, along with the letters P and the letter T. Um, the T one is an exceptionally nice one to find because I don't find them. I've never found many of the letter T. So to get, I think this is only my third one. Get over a hundred videos, so I am chuffed to bits to find one of them. Well, as ever, all that leaves me to do now is thank you so much for watching. I hope you've enjoyed, and I'll see you next time for more coins. Bye.